this lever goes on the side of the frame and is then lifting with using leverage, so it's very easy. Mm -hmm. And then you can get your finger onto it properly, so you can hold it properly, not sort of... You now, I find also people go all twisted. So I have to find, as you stand a bit on the right, if you're right-handed, and do it like that. And now when you lift it, you push it forward, put a hive tool where you can find it again, and now we just gently take it out. Oh, this is brood in here. Oh, this is not what I wanted. See that? Now the queen is somewhere here. Mm -hmm. This is honey, and this is brood here. This is brood. So there's no honey to be had in here either. Well, that's on the edge probably a bit. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Look, look at this, the, the pollen oh, here. Yeah. It's just putting its head into honey because of the smoke probably. But it has this, the socks mm -hmm. full of pollen. The eggs would be at the bottom of the cell, sort of like a, a white elongated little stick pointing up. But there's none in here. Tomorrow we'll have a closer look if we can find the queen. Somehow the queen got up to the top. It can happen as a, a faulty queen excluder, which I really doubt because I use fairly new ones. This is interesting on them. See how they chase the beetles? See, they look like they're mating with them. But they try to kill them, but they can't. Sometimes they really tackle them. These bees have developed that habit. And that would be, I don't know, it should be good with them chasing it into the, into the traps. So the traps already have some in there again. It's, it, this, we had this open yesterday. It's quite amazing. And so now we know there's brood in here and we have to be careful so you don't, don't squash the queen. And if you find it, I would like to put it down here. That's the, that's the idea. That's the mm -hmm. If I find the frame with the queen on it, I'll lean it against there mm. and try to keep it dark as she doesn't fly away. Mm. I'll take this frame out, it seems to be to the least attached. And once I take it out carefully, you'll see the brood. This is a beautiful brood nest. Mm -hmm. This is excellent brood nest. So that's where it's forming. It's a nice pattern, see only the corners are not. But she's not on here most likely because there's virtually nowhere else to lay eggs. So I take it, turn around and just very quickly try to see her. They often try to run away from you on the bottom. So how would you identify the queen? She's considerably larger. There. What we're looking at here are all worker bees. Right. And, and she's a, no, I guess what people call a perfect female as she can lay eggs. Uh, this one's here can too, but generally don't. Uh, they're not fertile then. So this is, this is very beautiful, it's good to see. This is why this hive is so strong. So, and she's longer than they are. And she is also, has a, a very typical sort of waistline, I find. Uh, once you see them, you think, how can you ever miss it? But in so many bees, it's of course not too difficult to, to miss them. There's empty ones here. So it's a sort of place where she could be. And I just try to scan them fairly quickly. And usually the bees will cluster around her to try to protect her. So mm. if lots of bees are on top of each other, this is again, it's a good uh, pattern. It's actually something very interesting. Breeders have been trying to get rid of these gaps in between. In there you find larvae actually. There's larvae in there. But sometimes they have empty cells they try to breed queens which had none. And now they found out that uh, in these cells, when it chills down overnight unusually, some of the worker bees will go in there and their temperature, body temperature is greater than the body temperature of other bees. They're actually heater bees. They go in there to keep the larvae warm. Hmm. So it's an extremely detailed plan and the whole thing 
I just saw a drone before too. Uh, one of these. Here is the queen, is it? Ah. Yeah, it's the queen. See her there? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, we, and she's, she's looking for a, a cell at the moment to go and lay in and she will just put her backside, so to speak, in their abdomen and put it down and drop an egg. So often people put a, a colored dot on it for good reason, but I haven't got any colored dots. So what I do now is I lean it against here very gently. Can you see on the frame there? Again, for me, this looks like an exceptionally good brood pattern. Some of them here are sticking up a bit. These are drones. We try to minimize drones, but in a pattern like this, I'm willing to accept that. It's honey on the side, and there will be some... Uh, pollen as well. I'll be working a little bit fast because I don't want to keep them open too long. I'll just clean them up a bit, move them away, move it away, take this frame. I'll just look for some queen cells if there's one. Uh, not too much happening here. Space for her to lay. Uh, there's plenty of space here. That, see, there's areas where they obviously have hatched and or where there's maybe eggs. I can't see any eggs right there. I find eggs really difficult to, to see sometimes. It's this pattern. See, they're hatched and in this area and here they're still to hatch. And we can see some of them here about to hatch. They're just eating through the capping. Mm -hmm. It's exciting to see it like this. Yeah. Now what I do is I'll uh, make myself a bit of space and I lift this off, take the queen excluder, take a frame from below and take that frame and put it up the top and put this one here down the bottom. And we just keep them happy by giving a bit of smoke. And I'll smoke these. And I'll take, I should have taken, brought back a new Queen Excluder. But I'm pretty sure it wasn't the Queen Excluder at fault. What's a Queen Excluder? This is the Queen Excluder. Okay, we can put away. I want to clean this up a bit, so I use it like the brush. Mm -hmm. I've just used the smoke to drive the uh, bees away, and I don't squash them. This will do. out because we don't work down here very much mm. it will be a little bit messy but quite possibly no brood down here at all because these are all homes I will work this one out oh, there's a queen cell there you put now the frame with the queen into the brood box where she belongs and we do that gently and at the right spacing. This is all okay. Now we take this here, the queen excluder, and put it on top. This should be all okay. We keep the bees down here as we don't squash too many. Now we're putting this up on top. Oops. Why is it good to have the queen at the bottom? Because then we don't have the queen laying eggs where we want to extract the honey. She will not lay any more eggs up here, which is now at the bottom, which means that these frames with the brood on it 
das, wenn das Brot das hatcht, over the next few weeks, it means that then it's room for honey. And she has plenty of space below now to lay more eggs. Because there's no brood down there. Or actually honey. Oh, isn't it beautiful? See, the ones which stand up a bit more are, are actually drones. It's a good sign uh, to have some drones. It no means they have plenty of honey and plenty of food. Now, the frame which came from below. Uh, see, this is a... Not a nice queen cell, but it's a queen cell. And it's a hole in it. It's hatched. Um, and here, there's a bit of blue touch. See all the pollen they bring in, different colors pollen on the legs. Light, light yellow, dark orange. That's it's fascinating. Yeah. Okay, I'll slip this in now. Seen them how they come out. Oh, yeah. Not too happy. You can hear the sound now, sort of a roar. Mm -hmm. It's calming down again. And when you, you know, keep the bees and you work on them by yourself, you start to really learn listen to this. this is a bit This is the frame we put in here. I think, yeah. yeah. So, has no number on it. So I put an X on here. The X means when next time when we take the honey off, I'll actually replace this frame. New foundation in it. We have to put the small hive people traps in here. This hive will probably hang out a bit. The, the, the bees will hang out a bit because we sort of disturb them fairly in a fairly major way. All these things are probably totally unnecessary. Put this on top. Then the lid on top. In about a fortnight I'll look and there should be actually no brood anymore up the top then and because they have hatched and uh, they have room again to put more honey in it. 